Hello and welcome to the ACCA Quality Assured Verifier Program. This session introduces the program for the cadre of verifiers that will offer an objective third-party evaluation in support of the industry-developed Residential Service and Installation Program, a program that is offered in support of HVAC professionals who want to set themselves and their work apart. This session will review the background challenges the HVAC industry faces, introduces the path to overcome them, and provides a very high-level overview of the program's interactions. ACCA is the organization that has developed the programs you are about to review, and by way of introduction, ACCA serves the professional HVAC contractors by focusing on the technical, educational, and legislative or regulatory interests of its members. The mission statement broadens the organization, recognizing that HVAC professionals also strongly influence energy consumption in this country. ACCA is a national organization with a strong presence all across the country. ACCA and the preceding organizations have been around for almost a century. During that time, it has developed a number of manuals, three prime examples, or Manual J, Manual D, and Manual S, referencing the codes as minimum requirements, as well as other supportive or complementary guides and standards. But starting back in 2004, the ACCA Board of Directors noted a number of challenges facing the industry. The first challenge is what passes for competence. In the 50s, when HVAC was a novelty, engineers designed systems and supervised their installation. As the industry grew and HVAC contracting became a trade unto itself, a rule of thumb that once served as a placeholder until further calculations could be performed was transformed into the rule. And because no one's complained, well, it must be okay. The tradesmen that worked on these projects became familiar and these abbreviated processes became rules. Back in the 50s, 500 square foot of ton might have been a good number to eyeball a proposal until the load could be calculated. A cold suction line might have served as an indicator that the system had enough refrigerant to move on to other elements of the installation while the system reached a steady state and the charge could be further refined. And there are others. But as an industry, we must once again do the engineering necessary to properly install an HVAC system. There are other challenges. Consumers often view HVAC systems as just another appliance. They think you buy it and plug it in. The design aspects, installation skills, or air and water distribution elements are completely foreign to them. Most believe that because they're paying thousands of dollars for this new system, they're getting it anyway. Then there's the fact that very, very, very few people save up for a new air conditioner or furnace. It's usually an unexpected or unplanned event. Another challenge is that there are many good contractors out there doing great work. It's just that they're grossly outnumbered by the ones that think they're doing a good job and those who are bottom feeding on the cheapest installation possible. Contractors and consumers often have different perceptions of the same things. Many consumers view all tradesmen as charlatans and contractors believe that all customers only care about one thing, the lowest price. Well, the truth is that customers usually are most interested in the most value for the dollar, and most contractors are honest businessmen who need to make a profit. Thus, consumers need to find a way to identify the good guys who charge a fair price for a quality installation. There have also been a lot of proposed solutions to fix the HVAC industry. Now, all of these things have benefits but they all focus on one aspect of a system, and none of these alone can fix an HVAC system installation. A holistic solution is needed. Additionally, there is one major element that's missing, the installing contractor. Because an HVAC system is different than a refrigerator, you must do more than deliver it and plug it in. It takes real skill to properly design and real talent to install an HVAC system. The identification of these challenges was the first step on a systematic and deliberate journey that leads us here today. The next step was to draft a document that would define the minimum requirements for a quality installation. 
In 2005, the HVAC industry began to work on a document to consolidate the elements that make a quality HVAC system installation. Representatives from manufacturers, distributors, utilities, energy efficiency groups, and HVAC contractors assembled to gather the essential portions of the manufacturer's instructions, code requirements, and good industry practices. This presentation is not a review of this standard, but you are welcome to download a free PDF copy at www.acca.org quality. This standard started in 2005 and was completed in 2007 and recognized as an American national standard. Now that a benchmark for a quality installation had been established, ACCA could move on to the next step. The protocols to verify a quality installation were created by an equally broad coalition of HVAC industry representatives and became an American national standard in 2009. The verifier program draws heavily from this standard to promote quality installations. Then in 2011, in support of Energy Star for New Homes, the Quality Assured program was developed and launched to accredit HVAC contractors qualified to meet the Energy Star program requirements. This program allowed ACCA to pave the way and establish a foundation for future accrediting efforts. Verification processes, contractor compliance visits, and documentation requirements were developed and refined. Based on the success of the QA New Homes program and the desire to reach the market with the most to gain from a national product, ACCA launched the QA Residential Service and Installation, or RSI, program to address the HVAC system installation in existing homes. And your role in that program is what we want to discuss today. The purpose of the RSI program is to offer a national contractor supported accreditation program to promote quality installation of HVAC systems. There are two main portions of this effort, to accredit contractors and evaluate specific HVAC system installations. The verifier program that accompanies RSI identifies the companies and their employees who can verify that the elements of the installation comply with the QI standard, those minimum requirements for design, equipment, distribution, and documentation. Purchasing an HVAC system that meets the QI standard is not your typical installation. It should be, but it's usually not. Designing the heating and cooling loads according to Manual J is accepted as minimum code, as is the equipment selection according to Manual S. More and more contractors ensure their technicians check the refrigerant charge, airflow, and that combustion appliances are operating properly. A QI job, though, goes further, ensuring the distribution system meets specified metrics and the system is tested and certain measurements are recorded. As this is not a typical installation, your role, after the contractor has completed the installation, is to provide a professional service to the customer. You are to represent your company, the RSI contractor, and the program as an unbiased third party. After the job has been sold and registered, the RSI contractor proceeds to perform the installation. During the installation, the installer or startup technician must prepare and mark test ports that you will use during the in-field evaluation. Sometime after the job is finished, you will be provided with documentation which must then be submitted electronically to the RSI program. Some illustrations of what is expected are depicted here. An extremely rigorous program would obviously like to see every HVAC system and evaluate it for compliance to the QI standard. That is the only way to ensure complete compliance. But it was realized that in order to be implementable from a financial aspect, there had to be minimum levels of sampling. Very simply, three consecutive QI jobs must meet the minimum requirements of an in-field evaluation to establish that the RSI contractor has sufficient competence. Then, one in 10 jobs will receive this level of evaluation. To promote consistency and provide third-party oversight to each installation, every QI job installation file will be reviewed by a verifier. 
There are a number of challenges that good HVAC contractors address on a routine basis. The RSI and Verifier programs will help customers who want the job done right and to find HVAC professionals that also provide third-party confirmation of their work. This has been an introduction, background review, and a very high-level program overview. If you have any questions about what you saw or heard here today, please feel free to contact us. You can call, write, or visit our website for more information. Thank you.